Agility, comfort and reliability. Combined with lower fuel consumption and lower emissions. These are the requirements for modern automobiles. One of the key features here, a modern and highly effective exhaust system. What do we do with the combustion engine's byproducts? Answers to this question have become increasingly sophisticated and exhaust gas is increasingly cleaner. Bernd Lindemann is the head of the exhaust gas systems project for the Mercedes-Benz development. Here, Bluetech set one further milestone in diesel technology. Naturally, we were proud to be the first to utilize this technology and break new ground, and also that we achieved the goals which we had set ourselves. Naturally, we are also pleased that the technology is progressively becoming a standard for production vehicles. The history of research into environmentally friendly exhaust systems began in the USA in the 1970s. In 1985, the first combustion engine in the E-Class was equipped with a standard three-way catalytic converter in Europe. A further breakthrough in diesel technology occurred at the beginning of the 1990s. The 190D was equipped with an oxidation catalytic converter. Its honeycomb structure is coated with platinum and palladium. It employs oxygen to convert the exhaust gases into harmless carbon dioxide and water vapor. This catalytic converter does not contain any sensor systems as we were not able to actively influence the engine management at that time. That is why we were only able to oxidize exhaust gases and could not break down nitrogen oxides or filter out particles. A lot has changed since the first generation of catalytic converters. For more than 30 years the development has continued up to and including the Blue Tech diesel innovation. In the wake of the E-Class, Bluetech is now finding its way into four-cylinder models. The C250 Bluetech prototype represents the state-of-the-art and yet remains true to tradition. In the 190, the oxidation catalytic converter was located here. For the current Bluetech system, the SCR catalytic converter is located here. We position the NOx absorber and the particulate filter a lot further forwards, very close to the engine and thus in an advantageous temperature area. With the C250 Bluetech, the engineers have succeeded in miniaturizing the components as well as integrating both the NOx absorber and the particulate filter in a single housing. This enables that the necessary temperatures may be achieved earlier and the effectiveness increased. A wide range of sensor systems supports the engine management. If the absorption threshold of the absorber is reached, then the mixture switches from lean to rich. Heavy load can result in carbon oxide breakouts. And then the SCR takes effect. A rich mixture creates an atmosphere in the catalytic converter which enables us to break nitrogen oxides down into harmless N2, nitrogen. Furthermore, ammonia gas is produced during the rich phase which is then stored in the SCR cat. If any nitrogen oxides pass through the NOx absorber, then we can break these down in the SCR cat using the stored ammonia. With this, it's possible to fulfill the provisional EU6 standard, which will come into force by 2012. The modern catalytic converter systems are designed for a service life spanning many years. In comparison with the original oxidation catalytic converters, they are naturally substantially more durable and effective. Sustainability through reliability. By hoiting... We have been able to considerably increase the temperature window and the surface of today's Bluetech systems. In addition, we have also designed the systems for the vehicle's entire service life, which means we have considerably stabilized the activity. The durable catalytic converters show the level of performance which modern exhaust systems can achieve. The goal is clear, an emission-free future. And the C250 Bluetech is an important component for that goal. True Blue Solutions that preserve the environment.